there, folks. I know it's been a minute. How y'all doing? My husband wants y'all to see these people. Okay, let me show y'all these people. I don't know why, but all right, you see the people? They're on the bicycle. So anyway, today is Saturday, uh, February the 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. What are y'all doing for y'all sweethearts?
think he tried to buy lingerie one time. He had put some, a shirt and some flowers and a teddy bear. And I'm just like, first of all, what I'm gonna do with a teddy bear? I'm tw at the time I was 20 some years old. I was like, I'm 20 some years old. What I'm gonna do? I don't decorate my bed with a teddy bear. I'm not the type of, you know, I'm not that kind of person for to get a teddy bear. Um, he had got me some flowers, which I like flowers. Um, you know, I really do. I don't mind flowers. You know, I'm that simple. So flowers was nice. Then he got me some chocolates, which you gotta be careful with me with chocolates because I'm very picky. I don't like the coconut filled chocolates. I don't like all that peanut butter chocolates. You know, I don't like all that, you know, whatever. Um, so I don't like all that traditional box of chocolate type, you know, candies or whatever. Um, he had, like I said, underclothes in there, which he know now that I'm a little bit more picky, you know, about that. I didn't buy you no underclothes. You bought me like a lot. It was like some kind of it was some kind of lingerie thing. Something you had bought me. That was another guy. That was another. Larry, don't play with me. <laughs> Ain't nothing funny about it. I'm playing. I know you're playing. So anyway, um, it was some like I said, it was a whole bunch of things thrown in a bag, basically. Then one year, was it my birthday or something? He had went and bought the whole outfit that was on the mannequin. That's how he shopped. He shopped off the mannequin. So he seen the mannequin. Up, up, up. He seen the mannequin in the window. He said, I want that outfit, which is fine with me because I don't agree with a lot of things my husband matches together. So, so I like the okay. fact that he bought off the mannequin because, you know, what I mean, a woman actually designed and put that outfit together. Majority of the time, the mannequins be looking on point. But he's fun. When I look, when he brought it, I was a tag and I was just like, I was like, why'd you spend all of this on clothes? You could have went to Ross. <laughs> You could I mean he went to um I got you. Oh, the first the other time I went to uh, No it was a gotcha. That was that outfit I'm talking about. A gotcha, yeah. And so he went to a, a gotcha and um and I was gonna tag and I was the receipt. I said with a receipt, he was like, You ain't gotta worry about that. I'm one of them women. I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. I look nice. But the clothes I wear, like like my mama, she was laughing at me because I told her she was looking for me something in the store yesterday while I was trying to look for something for the wedding. And she was like, she's like, yeah, I got to go look in the clearance department for you, she said, because you don't like to spend no more than $5 on no shirt or no outfit. And that's true. Like, I don't think, I really don't feel like, you know, if you take care of your clothes, you know, my clothes never have fallen apart in the washing machine. They've never fallen apart. Like, I have clothes from when I was still in high school. Like, seriously. Like, I really do. And I've been out of high school since 2002. So I've been out of high school for about 13 years. 14, going on 14 years. Woo! Oh my gosh, next year's gonna be 15 years. Woo! Hey. So like, I take care of my stuff. And so I feel like you can go buy a $300 pair of shoes and I feel like when you walk on the bottom of it, it's like the same value as a pair of pumps you're going to get from Ross that's going to be about $40. My thing, you know, my my point. So anyway, I was trying to tell him to take the stuff back. I was like, baby, I don't need this. This costs too much. But, you know, he went out. He took his time to do that. I went ahead and I swallowed, the, you know, the bullet. And I, I, you know, I like the outfit. So I like the fact that he did shop off the mannequin because... person on gifts. Now, I like perfume. I do, like I said, I like perfume. I like flowers. Let me say about perfume. So, I literally took a picture, sent him a picture, emailed it, Skyped it, video chatted it, put it on the refrigerator, <laughs> put it in his car on the dashboard, <laughs> tape it to the inside of his shirt. <laughs> Mailed it to him. I put an envelope, mailed it back to him. He still went and bought me a different kind of perfume. This is my thing. He don't know, I guess, just yet. I hate, I literally hate fruity perfumes. I hate them. I hate fruity perfumes. I absolutely hate fruity perfumes. The only perfume, the only body spray that I like that has a little fruit in it is from Victoria's Secret, which I have enough of it um, or whatever, and I don't wear it often, but the only one is the champagne, the, um, what is it, straw, champagne and strawberries or something like that, 
and it smells like a almost like a wine. It smells like a wine. It don't smell fruity. So I like that one. But like I'm a person, I like stuff like uh Holly Berry. I love, love, love um uh, what's that name I like? Dolce and Gabbana. Oh yeah. I love their perfumes. I love like the floral. I like like floral. That was like a floral smell, and I like clean smells. So anything that's like clean or floral, something of that nature, I absolutely love. I cannot stand fruity. So he bought me the Beyonce, I think Heat, and it's, it smells, you know, fruity. So I don't wear it. Um, cause it kind of it make me. I don't like fruit stuff. But he does know one thing. You know, one kind of body spray. When he, if you ever go into Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works. You know, one color and one kind, one color to not buy. What color? Purple. purple. No, not purple. lavender. I mean, it's purple. purple. I don't like purple. I don't not the color purple, but I don't like the purple um, one because it always smells fruity. <laughs> yeah. And like, there's one Victoria, one, the Victoria's Secret one that I need to go see if they have. But like, I don't even have it anymore because I had this spray for over four years. Oh, well, actually, I had this spray for almost nine years, to be honest with you. I've been trying to savor it. It's, uh, I think it's like rose petals. I don't know if they still have it. Oh, my gosh, I love that one. Oh, there's that one. There's another. There's a light blue kind, and it's like a real clean smell to it. My favorites. But, anywho, enough about that. What you want to say? Oh, the mannequin is your friend, fellas. The who? The mannequin. The mannequin. The mannequin. They're not fake. They, they, they come alive when you leave. Anyway. They do. What I do is I go through the mall and I look at all the mannequins. And uh, if I see a mannequin dress nice, I just tell them, give me the whole outfit and size. I don't go through all that girl stuff. That's just how I do it. That's a tip for y'all fellas. too and what I mean by many that supports because although it might not be the man that have the fertility issue or even you know I mean sometimes it is the man um you know whatnot and sometimes it's the, you know the woman but I think it's really good for men to be stepping up doing these videos or talking you know on camera and stuff like that giving their opinion or how they feel um you know 
just feel like that's very encouraging. Do I encourage you? Am I supportive? Supportive. Yeah. You're, you're supportive. You're very supportive. <laughs> you're very supportive. Yeah. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> but like, uh, I'm getting an example of who I'm talking to. I don't know if y'all follow this person here. I think it's, was it Wallace? Let me go look it up before I get it all wrong. Then she be talking about me. Talking about, uh-uh, girl. Uh-uh, get it, get it right. Get it right. Y'all know I'm bad with names. Um, Wallace Baby hyphen journey um so if you're not following them go follow them um they're getting ready to do their um ivf um cycle or whatever and um her husband actually made two videos um his first one was just his overall feeling of everything and how he's feeling and stuff like that and then the second one was um his appointment so he had an appointment to go take care of some stuff with the you know infertility um, specialist or whatnot and so he basically you know was talking from a man's point of view and I think that's like very good because a lot of men are almost afraid you know afraid to voice their opinions or let it be known that they maybe have an issue or that their woman has an issue um, back in the day I'm sure it was considered embarrassing that or you know embarrassing in some type of way that oh my wife can't have a child or my husband can't give me a child or whatever the case may be but I feel like nowadays with medicine and you know with so many people the sun I'm so sorry y'all the sun is so horrible um you know with so many people the sun is just like right there with so many people that's you know going through um infertility and so forth I feel like I feel like, you know, it's something that needs to be out there and be known and know that, you know, you're not alone and stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, it's good for men to be voicing their opinions, you know, and I know there's some men like, I don't want to get on no camera, but really and truly it helps other people, y'all. It does. And like I said, so many people, are, so many men are probably embarrassed because men, they have this whole pride thing, you know, and a lot of them that are either the ones that are suffering with the issue um don't want to speak about it don't want to talk about it you know us women you know i think we're more verbal and more you know wanting more um affection i mean not affection but more um what is it called um we want support you know we we would like more support and we want people to be like oh i i went through that too you know if you feel like somebody else went through the same thing you went through then you feel like you're not alone and I feel like that's what it is with you know with me and that we need to let them know that it's okay to voice your opinion and stuff like that you know so that's my whole take on that 